It was so good to be back in my car and be the driver and not the passenger. <laughs> I am super tired and super hungry. It is 12.30, um, the day after we got back from, actually same day, we got back from Hawaii and Japan, same trip, um, and hi, welcome. I only say that just because I am gonna do a Costco haul today and that's it, that's all I can muster up because I have so much um, pending at home. I have laundry, unpacking, getting my life back and editing probably about 10 videos, which is overwhelming in my brain and in actual reality. So welcome to a Costco haul after our family has been gone for two weeks. And even that we weren't shopping for probably five days before that, just because we didn't wanna um, have extra food. We did get our daughter stocked up with food just enough to have her have something to eat before she met us in Hawaii. We need a lot. So I don't even have a list. I'm gonna go and let Costco speak to me. <laughs> I'm too tired to write a list, too tired to like manage that. I just went to Target and got some Fairlife milk, some sour cream, and my daughter's prescriptions because they've been bugging me for the past week to pick them up. And I was like, I can't, and I can't respond to you via text to tell you I'm not in the sa same state. <laughs> so I didn't want them to like put the medication back and not be able to get it. So I did that, but I can't muster any more from Target right now just because I'm too tired. And I haven't eaten yet. So I have a poppy drink right here. It's an orange poppy drink. Um, I'm gonna look at Costco to see if they change the flavor of their pack there and maybe switch my Coke habit to a poppy habit. I know I have a problem, so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Um, if not, I'll come back to Target and get a few just for me. If I can get them at Costco, I can share them with the family because they're more affordable. Um, but Target prices. Okay, I'm going to go out this way. I'm not being able to back out of the parking lot here. Too much traffic. So let's go to Costco and we will show you what we get to stock our house up again after being gone so long. Also, because we've been not traveling so much, I think the kids are definitely wanting fresh food and I would like to have the energy to make them a homemade meal. Um, we've eaten out um, most nights in the past two weeks and I'm sure that they could use some fresh food in general. Um, and then hopefully after I kind of acclimate and come back to life, I can actually like make them a meal. Let's go to Costco. Okay, and we are starting in fresh foods first going to get bananas okay I'm not gonna show you everything right now but I am very excited to have some artichokes we'll start back into that and be able to like actually go through that many carrots <laughs> couldn't buy that when we were on our trip because we wouldn't be able to go that through that many but just know that this is all fruits and veggies which feels good all right back to milk and our normal supply of two They have never had these here. These are Abby's favorite, and now that she can chew, we're gonna get these for her. They're not too bad on price for a big box of crackers, because one small one from Costco is $4, so. All right, here are the poppy flavors. It is 20 bucks for 15 of them. I'm trying to decide if I should get them or not. I think I'd rather have the kids having these than soda, so I think I'll get them for myself as well. If I want a fizzy drink at night, I'll have this. Some kind of magic you came into my life And with that bed you give me falling twice Yeah, you're an angel and always on my mind I wanna love you like I do on my own Alright, Parking is a hot commodity around here. Also, I don't have any kids at home to help me unload. So I had to get a box <laughs> to help me get it all in. And I don't have my bags. I only have two little ones from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna load up and then I'll go home and I'll show you what we got. Okay, that's a lot. All right, driving home. Um, 
It was really cool because like the guy that checked me out, I went to the actual checkout counter instead of the self checkout because I was like, I don't want to do this by myself. Um, and uh, he was like totally quiet like the whole time and then he was like, oh, you did really good. Like, you know, under $200 for all that stuff. He's like, you know, Costco's like a hit or miss on like how much you're gonna spend. And I was like, I know, you know, 200 bucks. And I'm being honest with you, 200 bucks was a pretty good deal for me because we have, we've been gone for two weeks and this is gonna feed a family of six. And he was like, holy crap. He's like, okay, but I, I need to know, where were you for two weeks, you know, spring break or whatever. And I was like, you know, so I told him Japan and then Hawaii. And he's like, sick. And it was like, you know, he's like in his mid twenties or whatever. He's like, that is so cool. He's like, I just got back from staying there for like a month. And then the other checkout lady was there, is gonna go pick up her son who is just getting home as well. And he's been there for like a couple months. <laughs> I was like, this is so random that I picked the one place that like, you know, both people have like a Japan, you know, correlation with. Um, and the guy was like, what took you to Japan and then Hawaii? He's like, Hawaii, like that's a no brainer, but like, and he actually is from Oahu, which was a crazy thing. Um, so I told him about Ashley and he was like, I mean, that girl is hooked up at a young age. <laughs> He's like, if she's already getting asked to go and perform in Japan at the age of 10, which she turned 11 the day we left, um, just so you guys all know that now, like her birthday was the day we left um, to fly to Japan. Um, so she only got a few hours of her birthday before we switched to, J to April 3rd. <laughs> Um, which is why we kind of made a big deal about her birthday um, before we left because literally she wasn't going to actually have much of a birthday. So um, anyway, that was kind of cool. And anyway, he's like, so you just came from Kauai? Cause he sees my shirt. I'm wearing my little boy poo shirt or whatever. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, yeah, that, there's a travel advisory for that island now. And I was like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, it's new today. I was like, oh, that sucks. And I was like, you know, as much of a bummer as it was to be on that island with all the rain and the flooding and everything, Kauai is beautiful. Like, you can see so much of Kauai, we did, um, in the rain. And it's that is because it's so green and it's so pretty. So, um, but anyway, so it was just kind of fun chatting with him and stuff. And uh, just, a, you know, weird coincidence. I haven't gone through the actual checkout lane in a couple of years honestly because it's usually Jason and I going shopping and so to go through by myself the day we get home from both of those trips and to have both people have a connection with both the places that we went was pretty kind of it was kind of fun okay I'm not really sure where to start with all of this um so I guess we just go front to back got two loaves of bread two packages of the garlic pasta and the reason why I like this even though my daughter picks out the pasta and she gets little bits of corn and carrots and that she just eats that but I like it because then I have a whole bag full of frozen vegetables and ch chicken that I can have as my meal so these go on rebate for like six dollars I think and like it's just a really good bag of veggies for me and it's a good pasta meal for Abby so I always stock up on those we got lettuce and I got these guys I didn't get to try these ones, but they look really, really good. Some spring rolls. But I did get to try these um, cooked wontons, chicken and cilantro. They were really, really good, and they would be good with rice and a little bit of, like, soy sauce. I think there's probably a soy sauce packet in there to dip it in. Um, and then we got cottage cheese, and I got some more of this queso dip. Abby likes this, so I got that, as well as tortilla chips. I think we still have some... But when we have dip like this, um, we go through the chips. So I'm gonna try not to eat that too much, um, but I know she likes that one a lot. Um, I got a box of the poppies like you saw, but unfortunately, <laughs> I already have one. I just didn't remember, I didn't do a good search, but I do have uh, about half a box of poppy already. Um, and I also have a box of Coke Zero. Um, so we're, that's the last Coke Zero I'm going to buy for a while. And I'm going to try and not go through that one. I'm going to try and drink the poppies instead. All right, you saw the poppies. Next up is two gallons of milk. Actually, two packages of milk. <laughs> Four gallons of milk. 
I'm hoping this actually lasts us more than a week because we already got a gallon of milk from Grandpa for breakfast this morning. He brought that over yesterday before he picked us up at the airport. Okay, in the bags we have oranges, cutie oranges and carrots. This one was the one from Target. Sour cream and two different kinds of Fairlife milk. Back here, chips, uh, breakfast drinks, and the Cheez-Its, as well as a bag of the little bite size, what do they call these, blissful bites. There's these little uh, teeny tiny potatoes, and I didn't know that they are grown here in the Northwest. So that's kind of cool. All right, last up we've got eggs, some bagels. Dang it, I forgot the cream cheese. Oh, I really Oh no, I really hope I have cream cheese. That's probably not good still. Oh man, I did so all good. All right, all the fruits and vegetables are in here. We've got bananas, strawberries, peppers, apples, cucumbers, my artichoke pan of these uh, teriyaki stir fry udons. These are so good. Kaylee and I really like them. Jason does too, but he just doesn't get to them as fast as Kaylee and I do. All right, you guys, that does it. I've got quite a Costco haul here. I've put most of it away. Like I said, no one's home <laughs> to help me put it away today. I'm very tired, but I've got to go in and do like four loads of laundry, dishes. Actually, I don't think I have to do dishes, but I need to do some more unpacking and a lot of editing. And there's no time for a nap today. <laughs> so take care. I hope you enjoyed our little Costco haul after vacation. Um, take care and we'll see you when we see you. I don't know when I'm going to pick up the camera again. Um, you got some time to watch. I got to go get the videos up that you guys want to watch. <laughs> I got to go edit the Hawaii videos. So you'll have seen them all the way up until now. If you have not, if you're just coming this to this video with the Costco haul, you have a lot of catching up to do. So go back and watch the Japan playlist and the Hawaii playlist when we went to Kauai. Take care. See you guys next time.